In my last training, I share with you why multifamily is far superior than single family investing. And many of you single family investors asked me, Peter, how do you make the switch or the upgrade from single family to multifamily? That is what today's video is on. So let's get started. All right. So let's say that uh, this is you and you own a single family rental. OK, or you own several single family rentals and you have equity in those homes, that one home or those homes. That's it could be 50,000. It could be 100 or 300,000. Doesn't matter. The question of the day is, what is your return on that equity? So if your single family home is sitting on 50,000, 100,000 or 300,000 dollars worth of equity, what is it doing for you? Is it helping you retire? Is it generating passive income? Is it helping you set up a financial fortress for your family? If it's a single family home, it's probably not. And that's the problem. The main problem with single family homes is there's no return on the equity. OK, so where you want to be to you, where you want to be, if you're in this situation, you want to be in multifamily apartments. OK, you want to be preferably have five units or greater to get the most benefits because you want your equity to be put to work. OK, there's a quote from Warren Buffett. He says, if you don't find a way to make your money work while you sleep, you will work until you die. That is so true. So basically what he's saying is you need to create a system where you are creating passive income so you can retire and create this financial fortress for you and your family. OK, and so if this is you, you want to be here and you want to have this outcome where your cash flow is greater because now you have multifamily where the cash flow is more consistent now because you have multifamily where you can also force depreciation uh, on your property. You can't force depreciation on the home, right? Uh, but you can on a uh, five unit and greater multifamily. As you raise the rents, not only does the cash flow go up, but also the property value. That If you do that, it gives you so many options on, on extra strategies and cash flows and things like that, let alone financial freedom, retirement, and legacy. Now. The reason why I have an asterisk by financial freedom, retirement and legacy is because you do, you do not get those with single family home. OK, so you will not get the financial freedom, the uh, retirement legacy with single family homes, because that's the nature of single family homes. You will get this with multifamily. How do I know that is because I've been in this business for 20 years doing both. Right. And I have a lot of friends and know people and students who have uh, one or sometimes 10 single family homes and can't retire. OK, can't set their family up with single family homes. So they have to make the jump into multifamily to create this outcome. Got it. All right. So let's say this is you and you want to be here to get this outcome. How do you do that is with a 1031 exchange. OK. There will be a video that pops up right on the screen where I, I do a video breaking down how a 1031 exchange works. It's a IRS tax code that allows you to sell your property and take all the profits into a next larger property and not pay capital gains. So let me give you the quick rundown on that. Number one is um, here's a 1031 exchange process. So you're going to sell your home or homes, your rentals, okay, use investment properties, and you're going to buy multifamily. And if you do that, you're going to use a 1031 exchange. OK, that's a, it's a transaction in itself. If you do that, uh, you're not going to pay any capital gains taxes. So when you sell this, your single family home, you can take all the profits, OK, all the sales proceeds and not pay any capital gains taxes to the IRS. As long as you don't sell the property and use the money uh, you, that the taxes are deferred until you do that. OK, now. When you do a 1031 exchange by selling your home into multifamily, you can buy more than one multifamily property. I've done that. You can also wait until later. You can you can buy your uh, your multifamily, hold on to it and then sell them and then 1031 exchange into a larger multifamily. I've done that. And that's that is the true way 
to get to financial freedom and building this financial fortress for you and your family. Got it? All right. So next, what I want to do is I want to uh, give you an example of taking your home or homes and showing you how to do a 1031 exchange and upgrade it into a nice multifamily investment property. What does that look like? I will share with you right now. All right, here we are. I am going to give you options, okay? When you buy multifamily, you have options. When you trade your single family home rentals into a multifamily, you have numerous options. I am, today I'm just gonna give you just three of them, okay? But there's numerous that you can do. Let's get started, all right? Let, let me set this up. Let's say that you took one or two of your single family rentals and you decided to uh, sell them. And, uh, and you're gonna do a 1031 exchange. So let's say you have $250,000 in profits and at $250,000 is 25% of a million dollars. So you can put a 25% down payment on a million dollar property and buy it with your 1031 exchange profits, okay? Let me just set that up. All right, so what you did was you bought this uh, option one, okay? And uh, option one is you're gonna buy this 12 unit apartment building for a million dollars. So you're gonna put down $250,000, okay? And then, so your loan amount is gonna be 750, right? So the purchase price a million, minus your down payment 250, so your loan amount is 750,000. And let's say it cash flows uh, $20,000 a year, okay? If you do the math, um, your cash and cash return or your, or your ROI on the $250,000 is 8%, okay? So, you know, again, you're, you're putting your equity to work. This is a great return on, on your equity so far. You're making 8%, okay? All right, now, how I came across this cash or cash return, basically you take your cash flow, you take your cash flow and you, and you divide it by uh, your down payment. And then that equals 8%. That's how I got that. Okay, now, uh, here's the beauty of multifamily. Let's say uh, you raise your rents uh, on your 12 units, okay? Each unit, you were able to raise your rents to buy $300. And let's say this took five years. I'm being very conservative, okay? So over the next five years, you were able to, to increase your rents where they were once at here, and now they're $300 more, being very conservative, okay? So if we do the math, okay? Calculated here, we have $300 on times uh, three units, that's 3,600 3, times 12, that's um, $43,200. So, um, so over the next five years, you're increasing your NOI by $43,200, and as you know from watching all my videos, as you increase your NOI, the property value goes up, okay? Here's how the calculations work, okay? You take your NOI increase of $43,000, $43,200, and you divide it by the market cap rate. Let's say the market cap rate for this property is 6%. So 43,200 divided by uh, 6% is a, uh, forced appreciation value of $720,000, okay? So let me just summarize this. Over the next five years, again, being conservative, you were able to raise your rents little by little, so each of the 12 units were making $300 more, okay? If you were to do that, your property is now worth $720,000 more. You bought it for a million. So now after five years, it's worth $1.72 million. Got it? All right, let me ask you this. Can you do this with your single family home? No, you can't. This is the beauty of multifamily. Okay, this is option one. This, let's go to option two. Option two, we, we bought the same property, okay, for 12 unit for a million dollars, but let's say we're gonna perform a call segregation study. What a call segregation study is, you get to rapidly uh, accelerate the depreciation of the property, okay? Over one year, over five years, 15 years. Uh, I have a video link that will appear on the screen, so I, I break down what a cost segregation is. I make it really simple for you in that video. So basically, you get to write off everything in, inside the property. Instead of over 27 and a half years, 
you can do it over one year or five years or 15 years. You can rapidly take out the depreciation uh, value of the property and write it off, okay? Let me give you an example of what you can do. Let's say that this cost segregation study um, is gonna have an instant savings of $80,000, okay? Which is very possible with a 12 million a million dollars, very possible, okay? Let's say out of that uh, $80,000 you have in the bank, in your tax savings bank, you're gonna use $20,000 of it, 20,000 of the 80,000 to offset your cash flow. So you're making $20,000 a year. So this is taxable, right? But you're going to take your cost, your, your tax savings of 20,000 of the 80,000 to mitigate this. So that means this year that you use a cost seg, you can, you'll pay no taxes because your cost seg is gonna wipe these profits out. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> That's the beauty of commercial real estate, okay? But so you use only 20 of the 80. You're gonna take the other 60 to offset your W-2 income. Let's say you, you made $60,000 in, in your job. Now, you, and you have to pay taxes on it. With this property, you, you can take this, the remaining $60,000 and offset your W-2 income. So you pay no taxes. So in that year, you're not paying any taxes on your cash on your property. You're not paying any taxes on your W2, W-2 income. Isn't that incredible? Can you do that with a single family? No, you can't. You can't, okay? All right, so that's option two. Let's go to option three, which is my personal favorite. I've done this several times. Is let's say, again, after five years, okay? I'm not talking one year or getting rich quick. I'm talking five years of working this property, you know, hiring a good property manager or being a good manager yourself, having your accounting on order, you know, keeping the property up, just being a really, really good operator, just executing greatly, okay? This is something we teach our, our students to do all the time. This is where the money is made over the next five years. So um, let's say at the five-year point, you know, you got the rents up and everything, now that you, you got the property worth 7.2, 1.72 million. But remember, you know, five years ago, it, the loan was 750. Let's say, you know, you pay down some of the mortgage. Let's say it's now worth, uh, now the, the loan is at 720,000. You pay some of it down. So let's say you're gonna sell the property now. Okay, after five years, you're gonna sell it for 1.72 million, right? But you owe 720,000 you're gonna have a profit of $1 million, follow me, okay? And then, so now what you can do is you can take these profits and do another 1031 exchange into a $4 million multifamily property. How does that work? Well, if you have a million dollars, and so that could be 25% of something. A million dollars is 25% of $4 million. So you can find a $4 million apartment building put down 25% or a million and become owner of it. So um, that's what you can do, all right, here. So option one is to buy it, buy and hold, let it cash flow, life is good. Option two, you can buy and hold and do a, a, a cost segregation. Or option three, you can wait five years and then sell it and buy a larger one, okay? Here's a question for you, okay? I want everybody to listen to this question, it's very important. Would you rather be this person? Okay, would you rather be this person here or the person who held onto their single family rentals for the next five years? What, 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 which one would you rather be? For me, the answer is simple. If you want to build a legacy for your family, create a financial for, fortress for yourself, leave your job or just have options, multifamily is the way to go. And I share that with you uh, by using a simple 1031 exchange. Got it? All right. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor. Let me know out of these three options, which one would you rather do? I think I can produce a video from these. So that me help me create more content. So in the comment box, go ahead and let me know which is your favorite. Option one, buy and hold. Option two, buy and hold, do a call seg. Or number three, sell it in five years and then trade up. You let me know, put in the comments, option one, option two, or option three. Got it? All right, thanks everyone. If you held on this long, you are my favorite person of all time. So I thank you so much. And uh, do, do me a favor, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, okay? 
It'll help us and inspire us to create more content for you. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about what we do here at Commercial Property Advisors with our students that we mentor to do things just like this, go ahead and uh, text Peter to 833-942-4516 and we'll get back at you, all right? And if you just wanna read a book on commercial estate investing where I teach a lot of this stuff here, the link will appear right on the screen. You can download it and go at it and read it. Uh, if you want to study more of this material, I offer a course and it's free. Okay. It's a very extensive course on this and a whole lot more. Okay. Operations, management, uh, all that is in the course. The link will appear. You can watch that too. All right. Everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you at the next video.